Hey guys, we're back again with another video. So today we're going to look at reflections on the coordinate plane, which means on the graph. So before when we did all the transformations, reflections, rotations, translations, and dilations, we did it through constructions. But now we're going to look at it on the coordinate plane. So um, let's take a look first at the chart that you have. And we're going to start with the orientation. Now, our reflection has an opposite orientation. So what does that mean exactly? Well, if you take a look at the this reflection over the line, and we're just going to look at over a line. We're not on a um, uh, coordinate plane right now. Uh, but if you take a look at the letters, the triangle on the left, which is the original figure here, the letters go A, B, C clockwise. But when it was reflected over the line, if you look at A prime, B prime, C prime, it's going counterclockwise. That ordering of the letters is the orientation. Because it went from clockwise to counterclockwise, that makes it an opposite orientation. Now, there's three reflections that you have to know how to do on the coordinate plane. A uh, reflection over the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line y equals x. And this is the notation for each of them. Before, with the reflection, it would say, like, reflected over line m, and it would just have an m there. But now it's at over these three uh, different lines. So let's take a look at what happens with the x-axis. So you have a point x, comma y. And the rule is that when you reflect it over the x-axis, it becomes the point x, comma, negative y. So why is that true? Well, if we look at this, I know it's kind of like blurry and bad looking, but whatever. It, it serves this purpose. Here's the original triangle ABC. Now look at the points. This triangle was reflected over the x-axis, so look at the points that you have here. What changed? Well, what changed was all the y values were negated. So when you reflect over the x-axis, you negate all of the y's. So now what I want you to do with me is number, let me find it, uh, number 10. We're going to do number 10 together. Okay. Let me get my pen. I'm going to use blue. All right. We want to graph triangle bugs. So this is like the, any work that I do today on the worksheet, that's what you're going to show me tomorrow for the homework. Graph triangle bug, there's the points. Now, we want to perform the transformation, uh, this reflection over the x-axis. So we just talked about it. It's on your chart here. You want to make sure you know it. You keep the x the si same, and you negate the y. So, okay. So B right now is the point negative 2, 0. And it becomes B prime. And remember the rule. The x stays the same and you negate the y. Well, if I negate 0, I'm just going to have 0. That, that does nothing. Let's try the u. Oh, little kind of u there. All right. So u is negative 3, 4. I need to change. Okay. I'm, I have the mouse like going on a book right now. It's not working very well for me. I might have to change this after I. Okay. Yeah, that's not too good. All right. So for u prime, again, we keep the x the same. So it's negative 3, and you negate the y. So it becomes negative 4. And the last one is point G. Now if, um, okay, hold on. Stay with, wait, actually I'll just pause. All right, I'm back. I'm on a folder now. I don't have a mouse pad because the mouse that I uh, normally use just for other stuff besides videos is uh, where you don't need a mouse pad, so I don't have one anymore. But I had to go back to my old school mouse because that new one doesn't really work well with it. Does anybody care? Somebody's got to care. Romy, you care, don't you? You're giving me a weird look right now. Okay. Uh, anyways, point G, uh, so we keep the X the same and we negate the Y. If the Y is already negative, you have to negate it again. So basically the sign changes. So the, the Y is going to change. Now it says to graph that triangle. Okay, so we do have to graph the original triangle. So B is negative 2, 0, and U is 1, 2, 3, negative 3, 4. And G is negative 5, 1. Let's see if I can use these nifty segments. Oh, except I didn't choose blue. Oh, well. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now, B prime is negative 2, 0. So it's actually the same point as what we have right there. 
u prime is negative 3, negative 4. So here's u prime. And g prime is negative 5, negative 1. And it's easy to tell if you did these right. You just look to see. Now you really should be con connecting with a straight edge. I'm just going to leave it in black. Um, but you just look to see if. You know, if it looks like a reflection over the x-axis, which it does. Now, this is what's important. On the Regents exam, sometimes it says the use of the graph, well, okay, this told us to graph it, but sometimes it just says to give the coordinates and that the use of the graph is optional. The most important thing here is writing out the coordinates. You have to do this, especially because sometimes in the exam when we grade these, like somebody's graph will be wrong, but this part will be right and we can get partial credit. If you don't show your work, you're not going to be getting partial credit. So that's that one. Okay. Next, let's go to, where do I want to go? I want to go to this, but down here. Okay, a reflection over the y-axis. I'm not going to show you this one because I'm going to have you practice it tomorrow. But as you can see, if you reflect over the y-axis, look at the points. What happens? All of the x's are negated. So it's the opposite. You reflect over the y, you negate all of the x's. And if we go back to your little chart here, you can see there's the rule when you reflect over the y-axis, reflection with a lowercase r, the x is negated and the y stays the same. And then the last one that you have to know from this is when, there's so many things open, I'm getting lost with where I am. Here. A reflection over y equals x, y equals x goes through the origin and the slope is 1. Right? Slope is 1, y-intercept 0. So look, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Okay, so it's that line. So here's your reflection over y equals x. And for this one, you just change the order. So 1, 2 becomes 2, 1, and 3, 4 becomes 4, 3, and so on. So um, those are your rules, and y equals x is down here. x, y becomes y, x. Those are the three rules that you really have to study and know for that exam in case they ask you one of them. I am going to show you one more problem. So again, you want to make sure that you're copying this down. Here, okay. Let's go back to the worksheet and let me show you what happens if you have to reflect over a different line that's not one of those three. Basically, this is like baby counting. All we're going to do is count. So, graph triangle part A. We want to do graph triangle ABC. Okay, so let's just graph this. One, two. So here's A. And 3, 1, B, and 4, 5, 4, 5, okay, here is C. All right, so again, ooh, let me do blue while I'm thinking about it. Here we go. Uh, again, you should really use a straight edge. If you don't have one now, it's okay, but just make sure on the exam that you use one. Okay, part B says, Graph triangle A prime, B prime, C prime after that transformation. Now, here's what you want to do. This here, you're reflecting over the line y equals negative 2. So we have to figure out, all right, well, where is that line? Where is y equals negative 2? Well, y equals negative 2 crosses the y-axis. So I go to the y-axis here, and I go to negative 2, and if I draw a line through it like that, that is y equals negative 2. Now, to reflect over this, all you have to do, like I said before, is just count. Like, go to part B. Part B is here. If it's up 1, 2, 3 points from part, from point, if the point B is up 3 uh, points from the line, then you would just go down 3. Because if you remember, that line in red, that line of reflection is the perpendicular bisector. So let's do with C. So C is up from the red line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So from the red line, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's C prime. And then the last one is up 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm just going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4. And it should look like a reflection when we go to connect it. Over that red line. Oh, I'm in red. Oh, wait, I gotta get rid of this. Hold on, pause again. Okay, let's see if I'm good now. See, I'm, to you, I'm not pausing, but to me, I am. I was in that red arrow from before. 
There we go. And then the last thing, as I said before, is whenever you graph, you always want to list out what your new coordinates are. So let's see. A prime is, and I usually do it up in this blank space, A prime is 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 6 because it's down. B prime. So next, let's get B prime, which is... 1, 2, 3, and it's down negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5, and last is C prime. C prime is 1, 2, 3, 4, yep, 4, and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So negative 9. And there's our answer. Last, let's take a look at rotations. If you look here, we have triangle ABC is rotated about the origin, 0, 0. Whenever you do rotations on the coordinate plane, it's always going to be about the origin. It's the center of rotation. Now, triangle ABC, if you look, the letters are going clockwise. And after we rotate it, the letters are still going, A, A prime, B prime, C prime, are still going in a clockwise direction, which means that the orientation was the same. That's why on your chart, you have it filled out right here, that the orientation is the same for a rotation. Now, there's two, or, uh, two rotations that you're going to have to do on the coordinate plane, a rotation of 90 degrees and of 180 degrees. The rules are right here. It didn't list the center of rotation because, as I told you before, it's going to be the origin. So that's why it doesn't list it. It's just a different notation, but capital R is rotation. A 90-degree rotation, you're going to switch the order, but you're also going to negate the y value. In a 180-degree rotation, you uh, keep the order the same, but you just negate the x and you negate the y. Let's do one example in your... Um, on your sheet that you have, and we're going to do a rotation of 90 degrees. So again, it's negate the y, comma, x. Okay, so where is it here? Am I done with this? Yes, I am. Let's go to number 8. If you take a look here, number 8, it says to graph the original triangle. So let's first do that. 2, negative 4 is a. 5, negative 1 is your B, and then negative 6, 6, negative 8, okay, oh yeah, I remember doing this one in past years, it's really narrow because all the kids would complain, <laughs> ah, good old times, okay, let's connect this, and, ooh, look at that one, Okay, there it is. So, uh, the rule was, let me write it up here, a reflection, uh, sorry, a rotation, rotation of 90 degrees was negative y comma x. So, I like to write the a, b, c here and then put the arrow and, and write out what it is just so I can visually see everything that's going on. So, a prime, and you always want to write them out anyways, uh, a prime, you negate the y and then you write the x. So, if the x if the y is negative 4, I would have negative, negative 4, so I'd actually have a positive 4, and then the x, which is 2. Then for b, it's 5, negative 1. So for b prime, you negate the y, so negative, negative 1 would become positive 1, and then you write the x, which is 5. And then the last one is c, which is negative 6, negative 8. I negate the y, so negative, negative 8 becomes a positive 8. And then I just write down the x, and the x is negative 6. Okay, so let's just graph this, and then we'll be done. So for 2 is a prime, and then 1, 5 is B prime and 8, negative 6. I think this is a, it's got to be a 10 by 10 graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
Okay, C prime. All right, so let's connect here and see what we have. Remember, if it says the use of the graph is optional, then you don't have to graph it. Although most people do, just to see if it looks right. Okay, and there we go. There's our triangle. See you guys tomorrow.